welcome to this video, the first in a series where I dig into my vinyl vault for some collectible curiosities from the days where music came on a little piece of plastic with a hole. Now, with the recent passage of Halloween and everybody wearing costumes and masks, I realised that I had a 7-inch single in my collection which actually came with a mask. And the single in question is Gene Simmons' 1979 solo record, Radioactive. Now, I must confess right from the start that I was never the biggest KISS fan. In fact, despite their massive following in the US, in the UK, where I was born and brought up, they were never taken too seriously. British metal fans tended to be more of the gritty, denim-clad variety, and Kiss's costumes and makeup saw them caught in the UK in a kind of a post-glam sales void. Uh, they were acknowledged for their amazing live shows, though, and the Kiss Alive album did sell reasonably well. And they had their hardcore fans, for sure. And while not a huge fan of them myself, I did appreciate their big support and promotion in the US of British band Slade, who I deeply adore to this day, so I gotta give Kiss huge credit for that. And when I finally saw them live in 1980 at Stafford Bingley Hall, it was a hugely enjoyable gig with all the stuff you would have expected Kiss to do on stage in terms of flying around on wires, spitting out blood, rotating drum risers, you name it, it was all in there. It was really good fun. So in 1979, the four members of KISS decided to release solo albums and singles simultaneously. The singles were all coloured vinyl with picture sleeves and a card mask based on each band member's stage persona. Now, being a collector of 7-inch singles at the time, particularly in that glorious era of coloured vinyl and other gimmicks, this very much interested me. However, also being a hard-up high school teenager, I couldn't afford all four singles, so after some deliberation, I settled on Gene Simmons' Radioactive single, as he was the most recognisable band member in the UK. And this was a tough choice, as Ace Freely's release was a cover of one of my favourite songs of all time, New York Groove, written by UK songmeister Russ Ballard and originally recorded by UK band Hello. This is a superb song. And I particularly love the version by UK glam rockers The Sweet. Uh, Freely made a good choice with that song as his single as it became a pretty big hit. But back to Radioactive. The version I bought was in lovely red vinyl with full picture sleeve and that wonderful Gene Simmons mask. Um, now, Radioactive is actually a really good, catchy, glam, power pop rocker. Kiss at their best, basically. Uh, written by Simmons and longtime Kiss collaborator Sean Delaney, the single reached number 47 on the Billboard charts and even managed to scrape the bottom of the UK charts too. Some of the personnel on the recording included Aerosmith's Joe Perry on lead guitar and Bob Seeger on backing vocals, which is interesting with the trivia as Bob Seeger's singles sit right next to Gene Simmons in my alphabetically organised 7-inch singles cabinet. Um, also, Janice Ian, who some may remember from the big hit 17 in the 70s, uh, also recorded backing vocals for the album version a Prelude to Radioactive, which was cut from the single version. But yeah, all in all, actually a very enjoyable slice uh, of music and Gene Simmons' version of When You Wish Upon a Star is on the B-side, which is also interesting. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe and take a look at some of my other videos. And I'll be back soon with another curiosity from my vinyl vault. Till then, keep the house rocking.